demand, and quantity demanded. In our everyday lives, we want different goods and services that satisfy our needs in clothing, food, shelter, and transportation. Do you know what demand is in the study of economics? How is it different from wants? By definition, any wants that are supported by purchasing powers are known as demand. In other words, demand is made up of two components, wants and purchasing power. Wants refer to anything that people desire, such as mansions, sports cars, branded handbags, university degrees, etc. Purchasing power refers to the resources available for people to obtain such goods and services. For example, you want a house that costs $10 million, but you only have $10,000 in your bank account. Despite your want to the house, you do not have sufficient purchasing power, so you have no demand for it. On the other hand, if you have $10,000 and you want a smartphone that costs $5,000, then your wants are supported by purchasing power. So you have the demand for the smartphone. A consumer's demand for a good can be represented by a demand schedule. For example, Ming likes soft drinks. If the price of a can of a soft drink is $10, he will buy one can per week. At $8, he buys three cans per week. And at $6, he buys five cans per week. Then, we can summarize these numbers in a demand schedule. Be aware that when we mention demand, we need to distinguish between quantity demanded and demand. Quantity demanded refers to the quantity of a good that consumers are both willing and able to purchase at a given price. For example, when the price of a can of a soft drink is $6, Ming's quantity demanded is 5 cans per week. At another price, he has a different quantity demanded. On the other hand, demand refers to the quantities of a good that consumers are both willing and able to purchase at different prices. We can regard demand as the relationship between the price and the quantity of the good consumers buy. For example, besides Ming's quantity demanded at $6, we can also look at how many cans of soft drinks he would buy at other prices by referring to the whole demand schedule. In the next session, we will learn a fundamental concept in economics, the law of demand.